everyone, Melly Style My Jelly, and this is a update video on my pins. Um, you originally, originally seen them all on one big giant board, but I got slightly bored of that, so um, I decided to start putting them on these smaller um, pieces of cardboard that I have decorated. So I am going to show you what I did, so you can have some inspiration of your own. Bear with me. Righto, so what you'll need is cardboard. Um, mine came from a really old box that I had used the flaps to cut them off. Well, actually, um, using the scissors, I scored it so that it was to the point where it can actually come off on its own because otherwise, you'd have really messy end bits that I realised after doing about three of them. <laughs> um, so, you need cardboard and scissors and a ruler. I got a long one, Sally tape, fancy tape, piece of paper, your desired pins and what I did was because of the flaps on the box I cut it out so it was longer than this and actually it was, um, so I'd say this length, it measured obviously whatever cardboard you use is up to you but always measure it um, to find the middle and then I scored using the scissors um, to give me this size board and um, so next thing we're going to do is moving everything aside we are going to get the paper okay so with your sheet of paper you're going to find the side that is obviously the best side that side's not so nice so using the side that you want you're going to grab your paper you can use any sort of paper craft paper fancy paper you know design what you want um i've just gone for the plain white because it just looks a bit brighter obviously with the tape that i'm using um so what we're going to do is obviously cut out the amount that you need or if you've already got it pre-made to the size you want then um have enough that you can actually overlap the ends so that it would actually fold round to give you a small smoother surface and once we have done measuring of that we're going to use the sellotape to fold it round and stick it down right -o, so I've actually stuck down this one ahead of time so you can see what I mean um, but do this for the other side and you end up with a nice smooth surface on the other side okay so with both ends done this will be your finished result um, then using I've got duct tape in the spotty dog print but this is actually what I do than what I want what I'm trying to aim to do is just do a sort of bottom border to it um, so measure the amount that you need of the length across and actually cut it in half so let's get through that so I'm just giving you an example um, obviously mine's a simple enough pattern that I can cut it in the middle and I still can use the straight edge on the actual surface and the back of it will be tucked behind but um, obviously you know, what I didn't say is obviously this is a sharper blade of scissors is required for cutting this tape because it's nice it gives you a nice smooth line so uh, I'll cut them in half and then I'll tell you what to do next this should be what your finished product of two halves will look like so as you can see um, I've used the smoother edge of the tape and I've just measured it and then folded the excess over. Uh, the one thing I forgot to say is obviously if you are of a younger age and you're doing this, um, adult supervision is required, especially using the scissors, especially sharper scissors, because I do not want to be having any sort of injuries because they're not nice. And the other tip I would say is um, but I found out would be much easier is to obviously do the board all before you put your pins on because I actually did the paper and the board then put the pins on and then put the tape on which was my problem or my pet peeve I would say so uh, I'm going to stick the other half on and then we're going to get on to putting the pins on okay so this is the finished product backwards as well 
So having your pins, it can be anything. It can be the pins you're collecting so far. It can be favourite pins. Um, it could be, um, for example, I've got one that's to do with when I first went to Disney. Um, and then my sets from that time. And then moving on to when I last went. And then all the pins I've got from there. And then just like miscel miscellaneous ones like the classic Mickey Mini collection and anything else and obviously this one's just another miscellaneous one and then I'm going to be doing a Zoom Zoom one with my Zoom Zoom pins so um, obviously I already have like some sort of idea of where I'm going to put them but um, do it don't press them in the board just like rest them so you know where they can go and then start putting them in so let's get started Right, okay, so um, I've gotten about nearly halfway of the moving them, putting the pins down. But you can sort of see where I'm coming from. About it just makes it look a lot neater than um, where I originally had it on a giant pin board. And um, it's just a nice little frame, and you could put it anywhere in your room and just get a chance to see it. Because that's my problem: is my frame is mainly behind my door bedroom door so I don't really close my door unless there's like emergencies with moths <laughs> but um we're gonna continue let's keep going so here we go I put all my pins down and um I've tried to follow as much of the pattern as I could um I will show you the last finished one of my last last board but this was just a demonstration to say um how you can do it yourself um and i hope you have enjoyed like see a like and subscribe and a comment if you're new to my channel welcome and nice to meet you um i'll try and reply to your comments if you have any questions as soon as i can enjoy your day bye